Hello YouTube world, this is Person the Guy Gamer here. Playing some Undertale because I wanna test out my mic and all that stuff. I'm just starting from here just as a tester. If this works out well, I'll go all the way from the beginning and play this thing in full. Alright, let's go. If you're wondering why I'm making this, I downloaded the OBS Studio a while ago and figured, eh, why not try it out. Washua and Aaron appear. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. If I can actually hit the green things. Nope. Alright. Green means clean. Don't know how I didn't get hit, but not complaining. I sure do love muscles. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Aaron is admiring his own muscles. Of course he is. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contests? Okay, flex more. He's not flexing, he's sweating, but okay. <laughs> Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Nice! I won't lose, though. Creepy wink. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Alrighty then. So feel free to tell me how my voice is compared to the um, speech. Your opinion matters. I would thank you. I don't even read this. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. I think they used lamps, but I'm not going to complain. Well, I mean, there are crystals, but you touch the lamp. Mold, bug, and washua appear. You reach out. Washua recoils from your touch. I see how it is. <laughs> Yuck. Slime sounds. I have no idea what slime sounds like, but alright then. Ow. Mold bug gyrates reservedly. Nope, I don't see it. You ask Washu to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Rawr. Isn't that such a great war right there? God dang it. <laughs> Mold bug needs distance. Then we'll unhug him. I don't know how you would unhug someone, but why not? You don't hug Moldbug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Wash your soul. Slime sounds! Yep, that's what slime sound like. Eh, it'll kill me. Moldbug seems comfortable with your presence. I gotta get me out of it before I end up getting murdered. That's all I have. You look nice today. You covered 15 HP. Thank you, Nice Cream. No. Okay, good. Yep, the music's gone. Absolutely nothing interesting is going to happen, I swear. And it's getting darker. And I can't see anything.
behind you. Oh, lovely. Please don't kill me. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity, and give them back to the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, and I'll tear it from your body. Yep, yep, she's gonna kill us. Nope, never mind, alright. <laughs> Undyne! I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to our fight! Wait... Who is she fighting? H hey You weren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Alright, well, thanks for the save. You weren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? <laughs> I love those things. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. You hear a passing conversation? Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? I read that in the wrong order. <laughs> you hear a passing conversation. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you weren't going to laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. <laughs> However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return and the underground will go empty. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I never had to ask anyone this before. Um... Yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean... Undyne told me, um... Stay away from that human. So, like, um... I guess that makes us enemies or something? But, I kinda stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Sorry, bud. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Yeah, <sighs> here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. <sighs> Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Yep. Yo, we'll wait! Help, I tripped! Not oh, lovely. What are you looking at? Get up! Y yo, dude. If you wanna hurt my friend, you have to get through me first. Oh. And Don just backing off. Thanks, kid. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. I guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> I guess we'll have to be friends instead. Oh, darn. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. See you, kid. All right. Yep, what's happening here? 
seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgold become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Now, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! <laughs> Good, I didn't want to hear your backstory. You! You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alpha's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid just so you can run away from me again. And let's not forget that wimpy goody two shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. That's inappropriate. Everyone's been winged their whole life for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I show you how to I show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> convenient save point is convenient. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. Undyne attacks. I never would have guessed that. Undyne, attack 50, defense 20. The heroine that never gives up. I can see that. As long as you're green, you can't escape. I also learn how to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Smells like sushi. Alright then. He told Undyne they didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Not bad. Then how about this? Undyne points heroically towards the sky. <laughs> Thank you. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bolts get faster. Ah, lovely. For years we dreamed of a happy ending. Hm, not that fast. And Dyne points heroically towards the sky again. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bolts get faster. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Ah, there we go. And Dyne suplexes a whole boulder just because she can. <laughs> yeah, you suplex that boulder. You're told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her text become a little less extreme. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Undyne points horribly towards the sky. You told Undyne you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her text become a little less extreme. <laughs> Enough warming up. Oh. And Dan suplexes a whole huge boulder again. Get me out of here. Not wrong button. <laughs> Mercy, I still can't believe you want to spare me. I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Undyne bounces impatiently. Yeah, I could see it. <laughs> no. No. Dang it. You'll get away from me this time. Undyne attacks. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. How about killing me? I 
Undyne holds her fist in front of her hand and shakes it in front of her head. I don't know what that accomplishes. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bolts get faster. No human has ever made it past that score. Oh, okay then. Yep, suplex that boulder. You tell her attacks, they're too easy. They get faster. Killing you is now an act of mercy. I don't think so. Undyne towers threateningly. Her attacks are too easy, bullets get un- Oh, they get unfair now, great. <laughs> so stop being so damn resilient! Oh my goodness. No thank you, no thank you. You skipped for me for the last time! You tell her attacks are too easy, bullets get faster. Alphys told me that humans were determined. That dirty liar. <laughs> Smells like sushi. Her attacks are too easy, they get faster. I see what she meant by that. Oh. Her attacks are too easy, bullets get faster. But I'm determined too. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Yeah, you do that. Her attacks are too easy, bolts are unfair. Determined to end this right now. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. I can imagine why. <laughs> her attacks are too easy, bolts are unfair. Right now. Undyne flushes a menacing smile. Her attacks are too easy. She doesn't care. <laughs> right. Now. Oh my goodness. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. You look nice today. HP maxed out. <laughs> Her attacks are too easy, bolts get unfair. Nyeh! Die already, you little brat! Oh my goodness! She suplexes another boulder. How many boulders are there? I didn't even see one. No. R really, really. Someone's really. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. A little busy for that. After you hang out with me, let's meet up at her house. Okay, yeah, maybe later. I think you'd make great pals. I don't think so. No. No. Oh, come on, he's right there. Stop running away. Undyne attacks. I'm just gonna run away, hope you don't mind. <laughs> nope, nope, just keep running. Oh, what's gonna happen? Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. Ugh. That's unsanitary, you should get your tongue off of that bridge. She looks dry. No comment. <laughs> it's a water cooler, take a cup of water? Sure. Took a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Um... I didn't... Okay then, I poured it on the bridge. Alright. I think she's mad, I didn't give her any.
Hi. Bye. All right then. No thank you, no nothing. Sorry, Undyne, like, told us to st told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nyeh! Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. If they're not working, why are you... I'm not gonna ask. Alright, I think that's it for today. Alright, so tell me how I did. 